What's up guys? We are getting gas right now. I can't believe gas is like 3.39, 3.40 for ethanol free. But the boat needs gas, so <laughs> we're, uh, we're just gonna pump gas real quick and then head out. What's up guys, we just got out here on the flats. We're gonna get situated. Uh, we're gonna start chumming. I have Purina chum with me. We're gonna chum up the water and hopefully the bait fish start showing up. They should. I got them here yesterday, so they should be here, hopefully. Oh, there's a school of mullet over there. We're gonna get some mullet first. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, get, we're gonna cast net for mullet and then we're gonna sling those around Turn it on, they're all over there. You can see, you can see the ripples. That's when you know the mullet. They're over there, all over there. That's all of them right there. Those are all mullet. I'm gonna put this Purina chum uh, away. All right. Lots of mullet out there, man. Lots of mullet. Hopefully it's a one and done type cast. I'm a little bit rusty on this. <laughs> Haven't used this in a, in a minute. Oh, I think I got them. Those are greenbacks, guys. Those are greenbacks. Hopefully I got them. I think I got them. Man, I got a few. All right, looks like we're gonna have to chum for bait. I was trying to troll around for them, but I think this is gonna be a better way. Get them chummed up and then just do a one and done type cast. We're using Purina chum. You can get this at uh, St. Pete Fishing Outfitters. All right, close this up. We're gonna mix this up with water. Don't really need much. You wanna mix it like, just so you can um, grab them like that. That's a little bit too dry there, but yeah, something like that. Man, my hand's gonna smell so good after this. All right, that's good there, just like that. So you can grab them, make them into little balls like that. All right, start chumming. Keep doing that for about like 10 to 15 minutes. And hopefully the greenbacks show up. They should. Greenbacks, pinfish, look at them, they're already I wish I had another person to throw the cast net right now because I'm seeing them already. They are showing up, guys. This stuff is amazing. Gotta love it. I can see them right now. I'm gonna chum them, get them fired up, chum them up a little bit more, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna start throwing the cast net. All right. I'm gonna chum them up some more. They are, they are so fired up right now, man. Do a couple more throws. All right, here we go. Gonna 
throw these in the live well. Alright, first bait down there, hopefully it gets whacked right here man. Alright guys, we are on the other side of the bridge now because I think that tide is still outgoing because my bait was being pushed back towards me when I was on the other side. So hopefully this is the right side. We'll find out, right? Would you look at that, a mackerel man. Did not expect the macro to hit that green bag, but that's pretty cool. We're gonna let this guy go though, because we're not keeping macro today. It's pretty pretty decent one there. Man, he's his teeth, look at his teeth. Pretty gnarly. Oh whoa. See ya dude. I was actually not expecting the macro to be here but he shredded up that uh that leader though 15 i mean 25 pound leader shredded up we're gonna have to um clip that off and uh retie and throw another bait on there we're gonna try to get some mangrove snapper today and anything else that bites oh my god he dropped it dang it that was a good bite though About time. Snapper. Not sure if he's a keeper though. He's a little small. We're gonna have to let him go. But he is the targeted species. Check him out. Feisty little guy. Oh yeah. See ya. Let's throw another bait on and um, hopefully get onto a bigger one. We found them guys, finally. Just hooking the, um, the thread fin, or the uh, green back, through its, uh, behind its pectoral fin like that. All right, let's send it out there. Another small one. I guess you gotta get through the little guys first. Some of you guys are probably thinking like, man, you got a boat. Why don't you just take it out to the shipping channel and get get a 20 incher? We're not there yet, okay? We'll get there someday. That was a good one. That was a big one, boys. Broke off, clean, got me around the pilings. That's a big mullet, man. That's not what I want though. Jeez, look how big that mullet is. There's a school of redfish out there, guys. Redfish and snook. Got a jack. Freaking school of jack, man. Definitely redfish out there though, but we got a jack. Come on, dude. Come here, buddy. So I was trying to get finger mullet earlier, but I just happened to catch this really big one. So we're gonna cut them up into chunks like that, and we're gonna use that as uh, as bait. We'll see if uh, redfish or snook will pick this up. Let's see what happens. Some just picked it up, guys. There it is. Redfish. Redfish took the freaking cut mullet. He doesn't know he's hooked yet. Oh, that's a big one too. Now he knows he's hooked. Let's go, man. That's a big one. That's a really big one. Now he knows he's hooked. Woo! <laughs> Not even 10 minutes. That's awesome. They love mullet. That's a stud. Finally, man. <laughs> Finally some action. 
Oh. Check out that real screaming. That Stratic. The sound of a Stratic CI4-4000. Gotta love it. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful red. Look at the color on him, man. There it is. Look at that. Oh yeah. Stud. Stud. Not done yet, though. So redfish season opens uh, next week, June 1st. Redfish, trout, gag grouper. Um, snook opens September 1st. You guys know that. He's beat, man. He's done. 25 pound leader. Um, one on circle hook, no too light. Only one on. I'm surprised. Uh, I'm surprised that redfish didn't straighten it out. It's good though, good hooks. Uh oh, it's gonna go into the boat. He's underneath the boat. Come out, buddy. There he is. Oh, what a stud. What a stud. Hey, buddy. Jeez, look at him. Oh yeah. Look at that redfish, guys. That is a beast. That's probably 20, 15 pounder. Probably 15, 20 pounder there. All right. That's a pretty solid one right there. We're gonna release it. Actually, we're gonna put him on this side. She's ready to go. Look at him. Look at the size of this fish. Oh, what a beast. Beautiful. I didn't even get to measure him. My guess is probably 31, 32. Huge. See ya. We're gonna call it a day. The bite just slowed down. Didn't think I was gonna catch a redfish, but when you sling a cut bait out there, most likely uh, you'll get redfish. Sometimes bonnethead sharks, um, stingrays, love cut bait. But that was pretty cool. Took a little break from snapper fishing. Came back to fish for snapper, try to get some more snapper. Not a single bite. I don't know what's going on. We're gonna have to uh, try again next time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.